We've sneaked in one more question, and it comes from Carl Becker. My question to both of you is, regardless of the current rhetoric, would either of you name one positive thing that you respect in one another? Mr. Trump, would you like to go first? Well, I, I certainly will because uh, I think that's a, a very fair and important question. Look, I respect his children. His children are incredibly able and devoted, and I think that says a lot about Donald. I don't agree with nearly anything else he says or does, but I do respect that, and I think that is something uh, that as a mother and a grandmother is very important to me. Uh, so. I believe that this election has become, in part, so, um, so conflict-oriented, so intense, uh, because there's a lot at stake. This is not an ordinary time, and this is not an ordinary election. We are going to be choosing a president who will set policy for not just four or eight years, but because of some of the important decisions we have to make here at home, and around the world, from the Supreme Court to energy and so much else. And so there is a lot at stake. It's one of the most consequential elections that we've had. And that's why I've tried to put forth specific policies and plans, trying to get it off of the personal and put it on to what it is I want to do as president. And that's why I hope people will uh, check on that for themselves so that they can see uh, that, yes, I've spent 30 years, actually maybe a little more, uh, working to help kids and families, and I want to take all that experience uh, to the White House and do that every single day. Mr. Trump. Well, I consider her statement about my children to be a very nice compliment. I don't know if it was meant to be a compliment, but it is a great. I'm very proud of my children, and uh, they've done a wonderful job, and they've been wonderful, wonderful kids. So uh, I consider that a compliment. Uh, I will say this about Hillary. She doesn't quit. She doesn't give up. I respect that. I tell it like it is. She's a fighter. I disagree with much of what she's fighting for. I do disagree with her judgment in many cases. But she does fight hard, and she doesn't quit, and she doesn't give up. And I consider that to be a very good trait. Thanks to both of you. I want to thank both the, uh, the candidates. I want to thank the, uh, the university here. This concludes the town hall meeting. Our thanks to the candidates, the commission, Washington University, and to everybody who watched. Please tune in on October 19th for the final presidential debate that will take place at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Good night, everyone.